Hi folks, GameBug here again and once again we are playing the Black Death version 0.12, the Long Night update. And this time I'm going to be showcasing the Blacksmith. So, I have made my way from lowly beggar to peasant to merchant to blacksmith and here we are. Now in my last video of the merchant I wasn't all that impressed. So, has the blacksmith actually survived the update in good nick mm, yes yes actually he has so let's get into it and yes it's actually snowing in my house i don't actually know why so skill wise consistency was a thing that i uh, i mentioned before let's drink some water um and it's 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 not there still. Um, I mentioned it in the merchant. Just briefly to recap, when I became a peasant, I kept all my beggar skills. When I became a merchant, I kept some of my peasant skills and all of my beggar skills. Now that I've become a blacksmith, I've kept some of my peasant skills, some of my black, all of my beggar skills. I don't think I've kept any of. My, no, actually, no, I did keep. I believe some of my um, merchant skills, but not all of them, and then other skills. It's very strange, very, very strange how the classes seem to work at the moment. I'm going to just go with at the minute, they're not finished. That's what I'm going to call this. So, this is actually a new uh, user interface here, and it's. I didn't see anything wrong with the old one. I don't really know why they've done this. Uh, I quite like that the uh, explanation in the, uh, in the right hand side over here is sort of clearer because that wasn't great. But I'm not sure about this. I, I like the old one actually. I didn't see any problems really with it. But overridingly, fair enough. So, um, and I think it's just that they've, they've broken these down now. They had all different names for it and it's just food, medical, weapons, tools, housing, clothing, miscellaneous. Fair enough. So what skills does the blacksmith not start with well um they don't start well they, they have the ability to learn a bunch of things so long sword taper war sword for some reason as well there's a bit of a glitch of you pop off something it seems to have sort of sorted itself out but it used to be that i'd agree on that click that and it would go back to that anyway so the ability to craft a long sword great fine wonderful um i kept I'll go over what I kept from the merchant, which is one of the things, again, that doesn't really make sense to me, but I'll we'll go over that in a moment. So longsword, yep, fine, no problems with that. Use his iron to make it, as far as I recall. Let me just double check. Yeah, so, no. Um, don't bother with that. German warhammer, fine, no problems with that. Nice little weapon, it's only two points, I think, to open that up. Taper warsword, for some obscure reason, is four. Um damage of it is 95 though which is whopping and 105 for that so that'll be the reason why it costs four points flamberge flamberge not sure how it's pronounced is also four points so those are eight points for the two of them but they do an absolute stupid amount of damage there's an issue at the minute where swinging the flamberge i'm going to call it that because it sounds posh um you basically can swing it three times and you're out of stamina, which isn't great. But I think that they said that that's an issue that they're sorting out. It's not meant to happen, so fair enough. Weapons, though, yeah, fine. No problems at all with that, especially these three. And why make, why these three? What's so great about these three? Well, these three weapons, the Taper War Sword, German Warhammer, all cost silver. And it's so much easier to get rare silver ingots or even just silver ingots than it is to get iron ingots because one iron ingot requires three iron ore but one silver ingot requires one silver ore that's the reason why you would bother with that and all of those are better weapons they're just really really good weapons so yeah all really good skills these two really really good maybe if you want an awesome weapon to start with go for the hammer the war hammer and then go for these two um on this side, so with silver wood axe, silver pickaxe, silver sickle. Let's just pop here. Tools. I've only got the silvers and the primitives. Can't make iron. 
not upset about that because the silver is easier to do and better. Housing, golden door kit. This costs five points and it is at the moment, but there's recently been a patch. This is what this whole UI here is part of. Um, that's it changed how doors work in the game. And some of it works lovely, although I've heard a few people saying it doesn't work brilliant for them. Um, and some doesn't. So basically, if I go to my front door, first time you hit it, you have to put your code in, which I don't have to do. After that, you just tap the button to lock it and tap the button to unlock it. And that works for your gate as well, which is really nice. And as you can see, my it shows the damage or the, the health of the door. That's double what it starts as. Double. It's definitely a thousand more than it starts as. Um, and that's due to here. I've got a not sure why it's telling me that I can get a reinforced door kit when I've got a reinforced door. Or has that dropped? That should be 1,250, I'm sure of it. Has that dropped? You know what, I really ain't sure anymore. I don't know if that's a base door's health now or if it should be more than that. It's cocking up anyway at the moment. These things seem to keep just disappearing. I had an iron one, log back in, it was gone. Looks like the reinforced door's gone, but I'm sure that's the health, an increased health, unless they did increase the health to 1,000. 2250 from one as a base anyway it doesn't work but i've learned it anyway um and i think the rest of it you just get by default so i've got one in storage if i need it so yeah i mean that was the last thing i did because there was no point for it because it's broken at the moment but once they sort it out that'll be really really nice over here we've got lamellar which is what i'm wearing at the moment um which i didn't craft i bought um it's all right there's nothing wrong with it uh, the ability to make a leather work apron, that's fluff really, but it's only one point, so not too bad. Uh, Salad, I did actually have one of these briefly, um, but then quickly sold it because I opened up this, uh, which is better, the Crusader helmet. Uh, leather helmet, um, yeah, fine, no real point because you got this. Uh, leather gloves, again, no point because you can get better gloves than that. Um, that, by the way, I think is uses silver, I think, to make it though. So again, helpful. Plate leg armor. It's a lot of um, resources required, but fab. I'm wearing that at the moment. Crusader helmet. I've got. Uh, I'm not wearing it, but it's in my bag. These again, awesome. And this, which is a strange misstep, in the sense of I can't make it. So I can make everything here which makes sense and I love it when you know games give you skills that you can make and if you can't make them they don't give you them you have to find someone else to make the item so I can't make bandages I'm fine with that I have to go find someone that made me bandages I can make you know cotton swabs but not bandages um but all in all all the skills are cool and they're all still good so it's still a brilliant class so let's talk about the actual skills like I say I've got all my beggar skills still and I've got the silver tools now here. Um, worth getting because they degrade a lot slower. But in some ways you could argue that I may as well have st stuck with an iron pickaxe or an iron wood axe because I can repair it anyway. And based on the quality of the item is how expensive it is to repair. Um, so that's like 300 gold for me to repair that, which is different from it used to be three, but that's absolutely fine. Uh, I don't mind that it's gone up. Um, but yeah, I'm not, if I had iron, it would cost me less. So I could probably just go buy an iron one. And I'm not noticing better yield from a silver pickaxe. And they, the developers claimed like silver items give you better yield than co uh, iron, which will give you better yield than like uh, common or basic or whatever. I can't remember the called now. Primitive, I think it is. Yeah, primitive. Yeah, still look at the screen. I'm not noticing that. Um... The wood axe, I can use a primitive wood axe or a silver wood axe and I'll get exactly the same thing. It's based on the node that I'm in, whether it's a crappy looking tree or a nice looking tree. Um, silver pickaxes are not yielding me more rare ore or even more regularly ore um, than a common or a primitive one. 
so that probably needs sorting out from them um, and cost me more to repair so in some senses I'm probably better off just using that um, so yeah there's the food and drink wise um, I haven't kept anything I learnt from uh, merchants again but I have kept everything I've learnt from peasant and a bunch of stuff that I got no, sorry, from Beggar, and a bunch of stuff I got from Peasant, which is that. Still don't know why I've got that and I haven't got other stuff. Didn't keep anything from Merchant here, if I'm honest. If Blacksmiths had bandages, they would be overpowered. So, glad they haven't. Here, uh, I kept those two from Merchant. No idea why. Doesn't make any sense if I didn't keep anything else. And then obviously learnt all the new ones. Housing, uh, everything that I learned from being a beggar and a peasant is still available. And then this is give, these two are given for free. And this one you have to learn. A um, lot of iron, which was annoying, that obviously disappeared. So, and then here, again, I've kept all the, be oh, stop being annoying. I've kept all the beggar stuff. I've still got that coif, which was from being a peasant and from being a merchant. Don't know why I've got it as a blacksmith. No idea, because I didn't keep anything else. Kept leather. Um, didn't have to learn it again. suppose it's fine, but I don't really know why I didn't have to learn it again. These were given for free. I really, really think they have to be skills you have to learn. It's just not right to give those skills for free. Um, but they were. Kept that from being a merchant. Don't know why. And... I can't make this piece of armor I had to learn, which was four points or something, because I can't make chainmail. Which I think is an oversight, because chainmail used to be used in a lot of armor sets, um, including chainmail, and it's gone. And if it's going to be gone, don't give me a recipe that needs it. Just mean I, just give, just don't give me the recipe at all. If I want to find that chest plate, I must find the people that can make it. But it doesn't make sense that a blacksmith can't make chainmail. If you can make plate, you can make chainmail. Um, so they kind of really need to add that back in. Or they need to offer a different set of metal armor that I can craft. Um, I mean, they could just stick us with lamellar and that's it. Um, but considering they can make everything else, it doesn't. it just doesn't make sense. Um... So all of these are just plate and leathers, plate and leather sort of thing. I can do all that, cloth. Um, so yeah, they need to sort that. And they did, did say they're going to look into it, but that seems like an oversight to me. And here, I kept silver ingot and iron ingot learnt from being a merchant. Didn't have to spend any points on them. Again, either keep give me the skills from the previous class or don't give me the skills from the previous class. Um and then gold ingot i had to learn myself which fair enough personal opinion i should have kept that as a merchant i should have learned that as a merchant and then kept it as a um blacksmith and then yeah um so there wasn't a lot to learn as well that's that's probably the worst thing about this class you know they should have made me learn the plates definitely chainmail definitely so that would have been three more skills for me to learn i think everyone should have to learn the reinforced doors if i'm perfectly honest um if they're going to make me learn stuff again then i should have had to learn iron and silver but i didn't um and i probably should have had to learn crusader dagger again but again i didn't um it's a bit weird and to be fair i actually think that this class should have been made or should have had the option to learn um iron sword and dirk dagger and crusader dagger all the iron weapons as well um because they're blacksmith and that's what they do they're not going to use them all you're just going to use the best one that's available to you so but it would be nice to have had that opportunity to have them medical wise yeah i guess if you're going to always let people keep the band um, beggar skills then that's fine food and drink i'm fine that that's empty as well i guess no those two don't really matter i think but these yeah i just think that yeah I, too many stuff's been given to them for free 
I should have had to learn those for definite and they should have been like that should have been like two or three points and that should have been two or three points I think um, I don't even know why I've got that I should have had to learn that again don't know why I've got that um, should have had to learn that and that again or alternately I should have kept all the skills from the previous classes is it a good class yeah it's brilliant it's a brilliant class it really is it's self-sufficient it's probably the most overpowered class a bit at the moment mainly because you can repair your own items that said if you haven't um, got a lot of money then I mean I have and as you can see that was from this this and this um, yeah, if you haven't got a lot of money, it's going to be more difficult to repair your stuff. Repairing, just to give you an example, repairing these leg plates, if I don't equip them and go repair, that's never repair them at this stage, by the way. Let them get down here before you bother repairing them. But it's going to cost me nearly 3,000 gold, gold to repair them. So I'm lucky I have got that much money from all the iron ore and stuff that I've been well basically i've spammed it not for money but for experience points um but then obviously i've got it so i might as well flog it for cash now they have done a little bit of things to stop that happening in that merchants have a certain amount of gold on them um so you know that's going to sort of slow that down a little bit but overall yeah it's a fab class it's a really really good class i don't know what the knight's got going for it that's going to make it better than this just due to the fact that um with the exception of chainmail which is weird because i'm sort of wearing kind of chainmail there uh because with the exception of chainmail um they can do everything and so unless the knight's armor is more amazing and the knight's weapons are more amazing than what i'm go got on and as you don't seem to get anything specific from your class to improve like your combat abilities or anything the only thing the knight could really have more than this is um health i guess um maybe a quicker stamina regeneration or something um because i can't think what else they could have that would make them worth me using over this I mean, I'm going to look into the class. I promised I would, and I will. I'm probably going to move over to Monk next, just because it's in the same line as these ones. Um, and see how that goes. But, yeah, it's, it's a good class. It really, really is. It's, it's the one you should probably aim for, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for watching. It was a very short and sweet video, but it's a brilliant class. It was before. You can make tons of cool armor. It probably needs, I wouldn't say nerfing. It needs just to be a bit harder to get the stuff in it. It doesn't need stuff taking away from it per se. It needs you to earn more of the skills I got given. But yeah, um, good class. Do go there if you, you, know, you want to be a good class in this game. Besides that, nothing else to say. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. And game of a gout.